Hi, this is Rashid and you are watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I would like to show you how I hack the wheelchair and turn it into the robot. So first let me make it clear if you know someone who are using wheelchair. So please leave them alone. Don't try to hack their wheelchair like I did. Just buy your own stuff and experimenting on your own things. That should be better. So this is the wheelchair's motor. It's the brushless DC. So the cool thing is it has the brake inside. So when we turn this screw, it will lock the wheels. When it's on slope, it will not slide down. But when there's a power, the crush inside will release the brake and the wheels can turn. So I think that is the cool features from Bullshare that we can use it for the robot as well. So it comes with two of these motor and one of this ESC and one of the joystick. So on the ESC, you will see that there is two cables that need to be plugged on the wheels and one for the joystick and one for the battery. So this is a default setup for the wheelchair. So you can see that the battery, it doesn't plug it on. So you can see that the wheel can turn freely by itself. But if I enable the brake by release this screw, so you can see that it can lock and I can make it turn freely again by tightening the screw like this. Okay. Okay, so right now I plug the battery on the ESC and both wheels are also plugged and the joystick as well. So we can turn the wheelchair by just pressing this button. So we can press and it's just turn on. And yeah, there's some LED indicating. And yeah, press throttle and skid, left, right, and also turn back as well. Yeah, there's also the warning sound. And that is the default configuration for the wheelchair. And in our case, we want to use it as a robot, so we don't need this joystick anymore. But we need to know how to control uh, this ESC by the other controller, like Arduinos or something else. So I have the code and the documentation about how I hacked this one. So it is in my GitHub repo, so let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. This is my GitHub repo. So you can try search on uh, github.com slash Rashido. And yeah, it will link you into this page. So here is the repo that we are focusing on, the brushless drive wheels. So just click on it. And you will see that I made a documentation already. So you can try to read through of it and I explaining everything here. So you can see that the wheelchairs motors can also use as the robot cart as well, like this configuration. So it's just a simple aluminum frame with some the bracket that attach on the shaft of the motors. So this is the top view. But so you can see that it still connect with this joystick, but I'm going to show you how to use the microcontroller to control it instead of this joystick. So here is the basic, the default setup of the wheelchair. So you have the joystick and you have the two motors, left and right wheels. And also you need a 24 volt battery, all of this connecting to the black ESC. And from my hacking, so this is the black ESC and this is the joystick. So when both of the ESC and the joystick got power, there is the ESC will start to send four bytes of zero to the joystick and then the joystick will apply these initialization parameters back to the ESC 20 times. So I just figured out that these 17 bytes are the parameters of the wheels. For example, the rover voltage cutoff and also the brake and the acceleration and the velocity we can set from these parameters. So here uh, I just explain about how it's going to initialize and it will do some handshake. So after doing the handshake, 
the joystick will keep sending the commands of the speed byte for each wheel. For example, the, this two byte is for the first wheel and this two byte is for the second wheel. So according to this, we can mimic the behavior of the joystick by using the Arduinos. For example, I'm using the Arduino Mega and Arduino Nano and I'm using the software serial to communicate with the ESC. And yes, this is how I did the hacking of this ESC and use the external microcontroller to control it instead of the joystick. I also have the example script as well. If you want to try, you can just download and try it by yourself. And that is how I hack this wheelchair and control it by the Arduino. So if you have the Arduino and this kind of joystick, you can upload my codes and try play it by yourself if you have some similar the wheelchair controller like this. So from that hacking solution, we decide to call it something else instead of saying wheelchair every time. It's not that cool for the robot. So we call it as the AT card. It consists the wheels and the, this black ESC and the joystick is an option. And we design this board. This is the AT card interface board. So our company partners, London Electronics, they designed this board for us. So I just give them the source code that I hack and they just put it into this microcontroller and they designed this pretty nice uh, circuit boards as well. So there are three modes that we can use this interface board with this AT card. So the first one is the PWM. So there are two channels of the PWM for left wheel and right wheel. And the second one is the S bus. So on this S bus channel, they already do the mixing program of the card. So you can just only plug the S bus channel from here to the receiver and it's gonna work as it is. And another one is you can just use the regular joystick and plug it in here and it's just the wheelchair. So here this is the AT card interface board set up. So the wheel are still plugging at this black ESC you can, as you can see here. But the joystick is gonna plug at this interface board and the previous joystick cables is plugging at this interface board as well. So we're going to control the AT card wheels from our transmitter. So the receiver is connecting to this interface board on the S bus pin. So I'm going to plug the battery and let's see how it works. So we can control by pushing the throttle forward and backward and the steering on this channel. So you can see that the joystick it doesn't turn on at all, but I can control the wheels from my transmitter. So for example, if someone is sitting on the cart and want to control the wheels by himself by just moving the joystick, so we can just turn the joystick on and change the channel 5 of the transmitter to down so we can take control from the joystick. So from here, the transmitter cannot control the wheels. So we can take a control back to the transmitter by just switch the channel 5 back to the middle. And right now, the joystick cannot control. So you can control the wheels from your transmitter again. And another feature is to control the wheels by using the PWM signal. So right now my receiver is output the PWM signal to this PWM input port of the interface board. So right now I can control each wheel individually by just send the PWM from channel 2 and the channel 1. So this will be useful when you are using the flight controller like the Cube Pilot. So you can just plug PWM output from the Cube Pilot to this interface board and you can easily control the cart. 
And here are some examples of the robot from the AT card, which was originally from Billshare, as you know. You guys might have seen this video before. I was using it with an indoor navigation, the Intel RealSense T265 tracking camera, and it works pretty well. Or even outdoor usage, we are using it for a delivery cart to bring foods and drinks right to the customer. And with the nice stainless frame and cover, we can say this is the real robot, not a wheelchair anymore. And of course, we can make it more extremely by extended to a four wheels drive. And with a simple design, but applicable for real life usage, it can work in any all terrains. As I told you, there is a break inside, so even climbing a stair up and down, it seems not to be a problem at all. And that is how I turn the ViewShare parts into the robot. So the reason we are using this AT card interface and this motor and this ESC because the power of this guy to handle the load is quite reasonable and also the price that we pay. So the overall design is simple and compact and it fits for many real life applications. So the wheelchair part is ready to use as it is, but I am engineer and I love to modify stuff. So for a simple application, I think the AT card is the solution. But if the application requires more features like wheels position control or torque control, we can switch to another ESC like the O-Drive or Vest, but that is out of the scope of this video. So if you like my robot journey videos, please press like button and also don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any knowledge you want to share, please leave in the comment and thank you for watching.